All right, guys, we are doing a mashed potato bar. So you can see here at the stove, we've got a pot of water to boil. And Coach is going to be my model today. He is starting with potatoes. So he has already washed some potatoes. You want to wash all your potatoes off. Okay, and he's going to show you a couple of different ways that you can um, peel the potatoes. So he has a vegetable peeler. It's sharp. Be careful with it. Okay, it can cut you. So he's going to do like cutting towards yourself. I never cut towards myself. Okay, or you can do it away from you, just pushing it off, and it just slices the potato off. And then there's one way too where you can just go really, really fast on the potato, and it takes all of the potato off. It'll take like rot spots off for you. I personally don't like that method because I cut the tip of my finger off one time, so I don't like it. But there's also another method where you can take a knife and just cut around the center of the potato and then bake the whole potato, I mean, put the whole potato in the pot. We typically don't do mashed potatoes that way. We peel them off and then we cut them and then we put them into the boiling hot water. Okay, so then once you put them in your water, I will usually add a little bit of salt here, but I like to add salt to taste when I am finishing up. So you put all your potatoes in there and let them come to boil probably 10 to 12 minutes it's going to take them to boil then once you get them good and soft you're going to drain the hot water out of them using a strainer and once you have strained all of the water off you immediately want to add milk and butter salt and pepper to taste using some sort of blender or mixer to mix them up um, i like to use my big kitchen aid which is has a nice um, holder and holds it um, so then you just use that to mix it up until it's the way you like it and then we're gonna actually put them in a crock pot so there's one pot that's already ready all right mashed potato bar here we come 